Hey guys, what's up? Uh, recently, I posted a video as a Facebook reel that kind of just did a quick walkthrough of my garden slash park. And I had outlined that just about nine months ago in March of 2022, that it was nothing but a dirt lot. And was showing you guys what it looks like today. Unfortunately, because the Facebook reels are constricted on time frame, I had to exclude a lot of details. It was also pretty dark, so there was a lot of things that I couldn't show or didn't really capture efficiently. But I had a lot of really great feedback from it. Um, a lot of you guys said that you really liked it, really enjoyed it. Um, a lot of people had questions, a lot of people wanted to see more. So I figured that I would put together a little bit of a better video and post it for those of you who liked it and wanted to see more. Um, you can check out what it looks like in the daytime. And I'm also gonna try and include and find some images and videos of what it used to look like so that you can be just as mind blowing as I am when I look back and see what has become in less than a year in Glendale, Arizona, where we get super hot and then super cold. So I hope that you enjoy it. Stay tuned, check it out, and also stay tuned for more videos as I document things a little bit more individually and share my journey and experiences. Thank you. So now that you know what it all looks like now, on the first week of January 2023, I want to recap how it all started. Complete dirt lot, nothing but absolute dead clay soil, uh, where nothing but crabgrass grew, along with a couple palm trees that have always been here. Now, I was doing a stucco project in the midst of a bunch of renovations I was doing on the house and wanted a break to do something different, do something fun. 
I don't know why, but for some reason I decided I wanted to build a chicken coop and get me some chickens to help take care of the grass and weeds in the yard. At the same time, I was having the roof uh, replaced, so I had some plywood and materials that were coming down from that. So I used that and some pallets and uh, created me a chicken coop, uh, started getting me some chickens from online, and then moved it over to the side of the house that... Uh, was going to be more easy access to water and such however i then realized that side of the house is going to be the hottest side of the house and i have absolutely no shade so i had to start trying to plan that out how that was going to look how to build a coop the enclosure the run how to shade it and everything uh, one of my buddies started talking to me about plants and putting in trees and i didn't know nothing about this but uh started learning a lot from him and and from some online resources and things and uh then it was time to start digging up the yard uh, trying to break up some of this clay. I mean, I was digging down three, four foot, five foot holes, sticking my arm down, my head in the hole like an ostrich and everything. Still just reaching clay, trying to figure out how the heck anything is even going to grow here. Um, again, learned a lot from these online resources. Started bringing in uh, some truckloads of, of mulch and things like that. And then it was time to start really planning out where things were going to go, what kind of plants... Uh, I could grow here um, and what what my options were so now I'm starting to do kind of the lay of the land I'm starting to get a vision for how I want the yard to look um, where I want pathways to be where I would like there to be plants and it's time to start putting some plants in the ground gathering some seeds gathering some plants from the uh, green life tropical nursery and uh, various places mainly just green life I did get some at Home Depot here and there, but it was really exciting to start seeing things take shape and seeing where the pathways could be and start visioning out what it could look like one day down the road if everything was green and plants were starting to grow and I couldn't see from one side to the other where there was a pathway here or there, etc. So I just started covering the backyard with mulch, uh, started soaking it with water, lots and lots of water and continuing to do research, a lot of research, on different plants, tropical plants, food-bearing plants, to see what could grow. How do you know when you have a problem? So yeah, way too many trips to the nursery, way too many carloads full of everything. I ended up acquiring some seeds from my buddy for some casters. That's my very first caster that ever popped up there. Um, and just continuing to build on the vision, build some arches for some of the plants, dig some more holes, 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 and more holes. And uh, some of my seeds started to come up. These are some of the moringas that I had first started with. Moringas and what three days have just shot up hoping that they continue and continue they did those things came up faster than i knew that a tree could do the other thing that came up like wildflowers were the casters this is the very first one that popped up i was so excited i didn't even know what it was at first um and this is it uh, probably less than a month later, maybe a month if that. The ants actually ate this thing in half at the base. It completely fell over. I thought it was done. I had to go in and tie it up and try and uh, repair it. And uh, sure enough, that thing survived and it's one of the biggest trees out there now. As a matter of fact, I have a whole forest of those. I've probably got over 35 of those and I'm going to be continuing to allow them to come up. Great source of quick shape. It absolutely blows my mind to look back on what it looked like then, especially, again, since it's not even been a year. I was sitting here anticipating this was going to take two, three, four years to get these things even at my height. And to see it now is absolutely incredible. So it's definitely doable. Now that I've seen progress in the main gardens, I was addicted. So I found this pond shell on the side of the road and decided it was time to start visioning an expansion. So ultimately, what that was, I wanted the two bamboos on the other side of this tree and then there so it fills all this space. I wanted the casters all along here and in between the casters, I was going to put the sugar cane. So that's exactly what I did. I started putting in the plants the way that I thought uh, the vision might work out. 
again, anticipating I was probably looking at two to three years before any of that came to pass. Nope. All in. This is a sugar cane. There's a whole bunch of castor trees. <laughs> Forest that I'm growing in. So much change in so little time. This is my new favorite spot. These previous images were like mid-June. This right here is about August. I was so stoked to start seeing all kinds of signs of life and healthy soil returning, trees coming up, seeds sprouting, uh, veg coming in, decorations going in, space being filled, and seeing life I had no idea what it even was. So there you have it. That's how I turned my dirt lot into a park in about eight to nine months. And I am just so stoked to see what's going to come and what it's going to look like over the next year and the next coming years. Uh, if I can do this, you can do this. I'm excited to post some more videos, just again, detailing the specifics of what specifically I have growing, what challenges I faced, what I've learned, uh, what my plans are, and all kinds of fun stuff. So if you enjoyed this, or if you're into this kind of stuff yourself, follow me, and uh, let's connect, let's collab, and grow on.